Hey, comadres, compadres, it's Jimmy. I'm coming back to you guys with the video. Um, today's video, we're going to do a reveal on the Morphe and Jeffree Star collaboration makeup brushes and sponges. I got my package yesterday. Super excited, but I didn't have time to do the video to today. So here is the packaging of the brushes. Here are the sponges. And let's see. Let's dive into it. All right, and if you notice, when you get this bag, you do have the Morphe and Jeffree Star, Jeffree's eyes there. It is pink. And this looks like a little purple, but it is a very different color of pink tint. Very pretty, very Jeffree. Everybody who knows Jeffree knows he loves pink. You take that off, and then you are left with this. Of course, you see the Morphe and Jeffree Star there. This is the this is the Starstruck bag, is what they're calling it. I'll put that maybe here. I love the pink and I love the silver. Very 80s to me, very retro. And then you come out with your brushes. You have seven brushes. And look at those. Some of them look a little, a little eh. That's because I've been playing with them for a little bit. Kind of mess with them here and there. I haven't really dived into like doing a full face or anything, but kind of just dabbing a little bit with them. So you do excuse me for that. Uh, but I thought I would show you guys a video. I'm gonna put those down for a quick second. On the in the bag, you will have this little little cover here. You can take it out. You can keep it. I love the bag the way it is and clear. I wouldn't want anything to damage it as much as possible. I know it's a makeup bag, but that's just me. So I probably would keep that in there to make sure nothing, you know, gets really ugly on there, any dark mascara, anything of that sort. Um, these brushes are regular, I think it's $84.89, and he's selling them for $42, which is a good price for these seven brushes. The sponges, you get three sponges for $16. You get a big sponge and two little smaller sponges. Those are for three for 16, which is good because I think the Red Morphe, if you guys know of uh, the Red Morphe sponge, I think it's $8. It's, I think it's about this size, maybe a smidge bigger, but it's $8 itself. Every time I go to try to get that one, that one is sold out. So I can, I never have a chance to get it. So I've never really tried it. So, but I was able to get my hand on some of these. On these brushes, you get your pink ones here. On these pink ones, these are synthetic, and these white ones are natural. On the synthetic, let's take a look. Look at this brush. It has a little Morphe and Jeffree Star logo there, and they look almost like crystals, like very pretty, very, very nice pink tint to everything and soft like so soft like can't wait to try this one this one is the the js1 fine yep js1 this is going to be your uh foundation brush look at that i don't really tr uh, put foundation on with a brush i've only really used a sponge so i'm pretty excited to see how this is going to come out um the last time I used an actual brush was with Rihanna's uh, Fenty brush. It was okay. It wasn't all that great to me. So I stuck with the blenders, the little blenders here. And they do wonders for me. But I'm going to give these a shot. And your next one is going to be JS2. You take that off. And this is going to be your precision brush. What they call the precision brush. I'm guessing this is uh, going to be for a little bit more maybe concealer on that end. I'm going to go ahead and put that back on because I like to keep things nice until I actually use it. But again, this is a nice pretty one again. The packaging, of course, stays the same. Very Jeffrey. The pink is amazing. And then let's see, JS3. JS3 here is going to be your contour brush. I've said it in, I think, a video before. I don't really do much contouring. It's not my thing. Um, will I dab a little bit with it? Probably. 
you know that I actually have a brush for contouring. Um, but this is going to be your contour brush. I do like that. Like, it's so pretty and soft. The syntheticness. Oh, it just feels very, very amazing to the touch of the skin. Like, I just want to do my face right now. Will I in camera? No, because I'm tired. It's been a long day. But I do want to show you guys the brushes before I call it a night. And then, let's see, the JS4. Which one is that one? JS4, let's see here. If I can find it. JS4. Like I said, these, I did dab a little bit with it. You can see they're not to their full potential because I was playing with them earlier. I was kind of dabbing in a little bit here and there. But there's that one. Like I said, I've messed with it a little bit, not too much. This is what they call the Fly High. I have my little notes here because there are quite a bit of brushes here. This is what they call the Fly High brush. And this one is really gonna be really good for highlighter. You're gonna situate some highlighter on your cheeks. This is gonna be the brush for it. I've seen a couple of videos where they do use the highlighter uh, brush for the highlight and it comes out really nice. The This one is a natural brush. Bristles are natural, that's why you see they don't, they're not all crazy and all that, but you see they kind of come out a little bit because it's their natural, it's natural hair. So it's going to tend to happen with natural brushes like that. And let me see here, the JS5. JS5, which I believe it's going to be this one. Yep, this one. JS5. I did play a lot more with the, with the smaller ones because I really never get any smaller ones. This JS5 is gonna be for your crease queen. This is called your crease queen. I'm thinking this is gonna be more or less where your crease is here in your eyes to kind of blend a little bit. Me feeling right now, it feels real soft. So I can see where this is gonna help with your creases right here, a little bit there, you know? So this is going to be the crease queen is what they call it. And JS6 is gonna be the roll bender brush. There you go. Of course, just like every other brush. Um, to me, I would to me this the roll blender would probably be if I would use it. I would use it for eyeshadow. I don't very rarely use eyeshadow. Um, I do have a palette that I haven't really tried yet, so I probably will try it with this, uh, just because it looks like, you know, if you look at it, it probably would help you out. That way you wouldn't use so much because it's such a nice brush, a little big. So a couple dabs here and there and your eyeshadow should go on pretty easily with that. So, you know, there's that one. And the final one is the Double Trip Spoolie with Eyebrow Brush. There's your eyebrow brush. Let me see if I get that. And did you see how the pointy it is? And everybody knows I love a good spoolie. You guys know I always gotta check my eyebrows. They're a little crazy sometimes. So this is the spoolie. Just look at that. I'm gonna, this would be good for here. I'm really scared to touch my eyes, but I would definitely try it at least once or twice with that. Or if you just want to use it to fill in your eyebrows. You know, not, I know nowadays, um, I see a lot of people who um, draw on the eyebrows, men and women. I can see where you're going to use this to draw it on. You know, even me. You know, my eyebrows are pretty thick, but I could use a little fill-in here and there. I probably will try this. Oh, look right there. Yep, got a little bald there. So, you know, I could try that there. That is that is the bag. They're, the brushes are very soft, very nice. The color is amazing. Um, I'm going to show you guys one more time. Let me pull out a couple. If you look at them, just, let me see, I'll pull it. I have small hands, so you have to excuse me. Let me grab the synthetic ones and just give you guys a look from a distance. Look at that. Look how, look how long those are. So pretty. Really haven't seen brushes like that. I've never seen brushes this pretty of a pink and all that. I know there was a lot of stuff online 
where these brushes look like some that came out from Amazon a couple years ago. And then, was it Tarte? Or somebody that they, they look similar to them. I've really never seen any brush like this. I did see a couple pictures that people found online. Um, but to actually see them in person, I think Jeffrey really took his time with these. Like he really did. If you've seen his video and all that, he's very excited about these uh, to the point where he was crying. He said he took a lot of time for, for these. And he really did because look at everything. It's pink, but you turn it like it looks a little bit of gold. And they're not bendy. Like they're, they're good. They're strong. They're going to last, you know. I don't want to try to break it, but they're not bendy. They're very durable. So the brushes, I don't want to say, from what I see, just from the packaging alone and the brushes, I'm going to give them a 10 as of right now, but I'm going to give myself a test um, to put my makeup on every day this week with these brushes to see how it goes compared to me using the a blender and all that and then um, I'll come back and let you guys know how that is um, excuse me the final product is going to be the sponges of course they are in pink Jeffrey signature color there are three so these three sponges let me see if I can get them out I always hate trying to open things on camera you would think I would have it together but I don't all right out here Ooh. these I have not opened yet so try to put them together make sure they don't fall there you go there are your three brushes right there I mean excuse me three sponges right there you have your big one and then you have your two little baby ones my size me, 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 These are cute. Like, just they're just cute in general. So I do like this one. I do like how it, just the edge of that right there is going to help you get under your eye really well. It's going to help you get into these creases. And let's see. Let me compare it to my other ones that I've been using. And this one's a little, little used, but look at the difference. This one has just one side that's flat to help out, but it really, it only goes a little, it goes around there. So you really, unless you're really, really, really pressing in there, you're really going to get some of those spots. So it's going to take quite a bit. I know I struggle sometimes with this where I'm trying to get my um, concealer down in there into my eye because of my bags and it's kind of hard with this. I'm very excited to see this. And actually with this one too, these little baby ones are gonna help just as much here, if not more than the bigger one. So I like that he gave you two. These do expand when they are wet. So I'm not gonna wet one because I'm not gonna use it right now, but they do expand when you wet them. From what I saw on the video from Jeffrey and all that, they do go quite a bit of, you know, size, they do grow, so, you know, that's a good thing so these retail for $16 for all three which is a good price a good price because like I said I paid six for these and just because this one of these were buy one get one free uh, but it would have been 12 for these and yeah they're bigger but they're not as good just the material in general is not going to be as good as what you see here this is the same um, Murphy is the brand if you see in the stores at Ulta. It's the red blender brush. It's quite a bit bigger. It's a red one. Always sold out. I can never find one and all that. So I'm really excited that I finally got my hands on these, like I said earlier. Um, I'm really excited to try those. So what I'm probably going to end up doing is putting my face on one day with the brushes and then putting a, my other side with the sponges and see how it looks. Do a side-by-side uh, -side comparison. Um, overall, I am satisfied from what I bought. So I'm just going to leave that there. Um, just a quick intro on those. Give me a little bit, a couple of days, and then I will come back and let you go, guys know what I feel. Excuse me. 
what I think and how I feel about these just to see if they're still keeping up to par to what I think they should for the price. So guys, stay tuned. Uh, once again, I appreciate all the love, the feedback, the DMs, everything. Um, comadres, compadres, uh, guys, um, thank you once again and keep tuned. Um, excuse me, I cannot talk tonight. Stay tuned for everything that I have to come. Thanks guys, have a good night.